Nerkirin. Lelomi, Willomi. Lelomi. That's right, we're talking about the hand that rocks the Mabel. Because it's the Dragon and Bear Show. Yes, with me. Geeky Bear. Little old me. Little Geeky Bear. Little Widow Geek Bear. And Little Widow Dragon. Yeah, we did episode four of Gravity Falls. Which introduces us to. rock. The Mabel. Which introduced us to Willa Gideon. Little a Willa part Gideon. of the plot going forward. And book two. Yeah. So, see, I think this episode's pretty slow, I'm going to be honest. It is slow, but it's, it's very, a good build-up. It's a very slow burner. I think that, obviously, the second half is where it actually like, kicks a, a bit mm. into action, because obviously then it shows a lot more of the uh, powers, obviously, of mm. what Willa Gideon has. It's um, not just... Um... You find out it's not just creatures. Yeah, it's also there's like magic and stuff and whatnot. Yeah. So that's, that's it. I think this for me this episode is on par with the second one. I wouldn't mm. say it's like amazing an episode. I'd say it's just a, t- a bit better because it adds plot. So that's what I mean. It, it's better on par, but it gives the edge over that one for a simple the reason. Edge. Obviously, uh, as they it adds little Gideon, who's a big part of the plot. The yeah. big overarching plot that you get to eventually. And as I said, the en- ending adds book two, which then gives mm. you the mystery of where's book one? And yeah. How has little Gideon got book two? So it adds that. And it's also the fact of where's he got this med- uh, medallion from? Where- where's he's come well, from? It's in his book. That's what I mean. But where did he. Ch- I'm guessing he, he tracked yeah. it down. But it's this case of if there's that out there, what else like that is mm. out there? Because it isn't like each book like a different thing. Isn't the third book to do the monsters and creatures, and the second one's to think do the, so. the artifacts and stuff. Yeah, but I don't know. I think I think it's mixed because when we got to, when we were watching this episode, I thought it was another episode where that's why I was making like size puns because there's another episode with Gideon and they've got and they have like a crystal that can change size. And that's the episode I thought this was. Um, but it's not. I, I'm not going to lie. I kind of forgot about this episode. It's the romance I knew, episode. I knew the bits of it. <laughs> I knew, I knew like, the romance part of it, but I thought it was the episode with the size-changing crystal. If she says no, I will <laughs> die. I said no. I can vouch for that. <laughs> There's a doctor I can vouch for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, d- I do love that the idea of see. If you look at like uh, Grunkle Stan and his group, it's mm. ones that a lot of the tone actually are kind of like, ugh, like, oh, what the fuck? I don't really. I'm not like we, we, they speak to them, but they're not like big fans of them. Whereas yeah. obviously, little Gideon, wherever he rocks up, everyone's like kissing his ass basically because he's. But just... that is due to the uh, the necktie. Yeah, I think because it led to read people's minds. If he's able, yeah, that, was just, that, her name is Mabel. It basically shows it in that sense, and it basically is the exact is that is pretty much the exact same character as Grunkle Stan in the sense that he's kind of basically just a con artist. A con, yeah, exactly, a con artist taking money from people. But obviously, unlike Grunkle Stan, he's obviously doing it in a way of obviously using his actual yeah. magic powers. Whereas Grunkle Stan is actually going, "I have a bag of uh, disappearing. <laughs> Put your money in it, disappears." <laughs> Yep, and a one oh, horse wow. rabbit. Wow, this is amazing! That was totally worth the drive. Worth the <laughs> but I do love the fact that they play on that with the fact that obviously Gideon yeah. is the same one. It's like a psychic bag. But obviously, the thing mm. is, you, you could say with the Gideon one, it, that's like a uh, like ed, ed, uh, admission. Mi- yeah, admission fee to get in there. Whereas obviously, Grunkle mm. Stan is literally they're literally coming up to him, putting him in the bag, and fucking off. Yeah, he's literally kind them into being like, "Oh, look, put some money in it, and it just vanishes." <laughs> it's not; it's in his back fucking pocket afterwards. I mean, it shows you how much of like a, a con artist. I mean, when he sort of starts befriending the guys, uh, obviously that yeah. was like father. Uh, he literally go he, when they're having this talk. You literally hear him basically click the button, to try and steal money from his cash yep. register. But because he gets caught, he has to shut it and be like, "Oh, must have just lent on it by mistake." Yeah, um, and closed it. But it kind of like. It has that comedic timing with the ding. 
Yeah, because obviously it's mid conversation. It's like as the conversation ends, here, ding. He's like, and then uh, about making money. Yeah, because obviously he wants Gideon and Gideon Mabel and to be Mabel. a couple. What was the name? There's many fucking names Zeus gave him. Go about the really long name he gave him, aren't you? Yeah, it was a really funny name. But yeah, it was like it gets realised different fucking names trying to like put more together. But I do yeah. love the fact that obviously the star that is. Uncle Stan hates the idea because he hates little Gideon because the fact that he just yeah takes his popularity. Space. Yeah, oh, he hate, yeah. His popularity and his parking space. Like he steals yeah. a lot of his thunder. Um, so obviously he hates him, and that's why he obviously hates the idea of these two being together. But then literally they're like, oh, we can make a lot of money at this. Like money, you say? Yeah. Well, I am basically the Mr. Ding. Krabs of this universe. Yeah, but he's, uh, exactly. He's that kind of uh, ding. Um. But yeah, obviously, then he sort of like comes out with the fucking t-shirt and everything, like uh, Team Mabel and stuff like that. I've, no, it said uh, Team Gideon. Yeah, it's like Team Gideon. Yeah. You would have thought it would have been like Team. Ma- you would have thought it would have been like one of, of like both. Of yeah. Them. And he would be wearing the. He's, but then again, it's Uncle Stan. He probably wouldn't wear his, like his own relatives. Fucking uh, name. Oh God, I have fair. But yeah, obviously, it's literally like this massive long romance one. Obviously, showing her. Yeah. So struggle to basically give him up because she didn't like him, like him like that. She literally says she likes him more as a friend or a little sister. Yeah. But he's you like, could say that she's never gonna give him up, never gonna let him down. But obviously, she's never gonna roll around. He keeps like pushing himself you. further and further with all these like ludicrous things and people backing him. So it's just a case of she kind of can't say no, so she has to have a yeah. uh, dipper say no for her. But I do like. That I had to do this because a lot of these sort of shows, the brother sister bond, there's never usually a massive bond there. It's always usually the sort of like, at each other's throats. But this doesn't. Mm. Re- this show always does a really good job of bringing them and showing the brother sister bond. I mean, literally, yeah. when she tricks Gideon, she's like, "It's like, oh, I'm not gonna like g- uh, do all this with you. You literally were beating up my brother. I'm not gonna yeah. let you get away with this." Like she did that in the first, obviously the other episodes as well. Um, mm. Obviously, in regards to basically. Someone basically kind of bad mouthing uh, Dipper or doing something yeah. bad. But she does that a lot, and I do like this show for doing that. It obviously shows that how close they are as a, a sibling. Yeah, I uh, mean they are siblings, and they do have their little tit tats. But a lot of the times they're standing up yeah. for each other constantly, and most of the tit tats they have is that she just like if, some, if something's going on, like they disagree yeah. with something going on. But something a lot, simple. A lot of times when it comes to someone hurting physically or emotionally yeah like straight there stand up like literally him standing up for him being like no she's not coming she's not gonna go out of you that's it you're done mm. and then her literally be like you're literally beating him up no yeah, that's literally it beating my brother up literally, literally I, I do like that that this show does a lot of that and this episode does show that a lot more uh yeah, absolutely especially the as i said the emotional side of it and the physical side of it it does show it really mm. well uh because if you think about it, obviously the comedy is a bit of a step back in some it's kind of a bit more of a serious episode. Mm. Like there is bits of comedy here and there, it's like the perfect time with the dinging and uh, the, par- the parking space and a few other things. But a lot of it is a really serious tone because yeah. it's him basically trying to. It's more plot heavy. Yeah, it's more plot heavy. Obviously, him trying to get. I'm building to get, up. To go out of her. Yeah. So it does a really good job at doing that. I say it's a slow burner. It definitely kicks into overdrive in the last act, obviously, when it shows more of his Absolutely. powers and abilities. But I see the start of it is a very much a slow burn. It, it might not suit everyone. It does take a while to get into it. But when it does get there, you, obviously, it's worth mm. it. And obviously, it sets up Little Gideon and his second book for future episodes. Uh, Absolutely. Which does, which, and it does really well in doing that. <clears throat> I think it's something else. I... I I liked that um, like the intro, like they got Wendy to have like more of a speaking role. Yeah, because she's been kind even of even though like, it was just thinking like which boyfriends she's broken up with. Yeah, because obviously that's that's the comedy part of it, that, like that yeah. little bit. Because I say she was in the first episode for like a little bit. I was literally all she did was give uh, Dipper the fucking go the, the golf cart. She yeah. wasn't in episode two. She pop- no. she popped up in like w- the scene of episode, episode three. Th- yes. For like a little tiny bit. Was it the bribe bit? That was it, wasn't yeah. it? And obviously the, the grunt called bribe them both to basically do the job. And then she yeah. popped up in this one. And this is probably her more, as say, talking part and more getting involved in the story. Yeah. As they, even if it's just her listing all the boyfriends she's like dumped or hasn't dumped. Oh, no, I must be still going to hate him. Mm. Sorry, one of them rings. Big line. Like, there is an episode. I'm not sure which one it is. 
Oh, I think it's literally the next episode. The, super, the supermarket one, isn't it? With a yeah, with a group of friends. That's the most yeah you get ever. Yeah, it's the most you get from her for a good bit, anyway. I so say she's definitely not one of those characters that just kind of pops in and out mm. here and there. Like I'm guessing it's probably just the fact that maybe they couldn't get the voice actress for constant. Yeah, I just remembered what the next episode is. It's a ghost one, isn't it? Lemme, lemme. But yeah, it's, it's definitely a slow burner, but as I say, when it gets there, it gets there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think I'm going to start my rating. Yeah, I can't really think of much else. As I say, we want to keep these no. a bit more short, but sweet, sweeter. Yeah, there's not really much to talk about. I think we've spoke about everything, really. Um, hmm. I say, it's, I say it's, as we said at the start, it's one of those ones that it's on par with... Uh, Episode two, but as I say, it's the, the it's slightest a... bub because yeah. it progresses the plot and gives mm. you a bit more of the mystery angle. Uh, so if that's the case, I gave that one nine. So I'm going to give it a 9.1. I think it's mm. just a bit ahead. I don't think it's heavily ahead. I think it's just a bit ahead. I'm, I think I'm going to follow you in that suit. And I'm going to go... I know I said I was going to stick with 0.5s and that. But you're going to give it the... X, yeah. I'm going to give it a 8.2. 8.2. Okay, I mean, I was debating nine point two as well, but I feel mm. like I'm gonna give it nine point one because it because there's a lot more episodes to come, so I want to I, I want to try yeah. and be a bit more lenient here Episodic and there. Enough. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, we've kind of got that that kind of twin 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 stink. I was got the point ahead in terms of yeah. And so we're on, we're on the one part we know what we're on about. Yeah. We we got that weird um, like. Uh, we're literally like Dipper and Mabel. We've got the weird uh, yeah. twin mind meld, even though we're not related yeah. whatsoever. No, it is, yeah. don't you? Both born in April, two days apart. It's like the twin mind. Yeah. It, it fucking melts. We melded together. We melded together. We're, 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 I just got the gay part. <laughs> we're, we're, some sort of, we're a weird abomination. Yeah. We're, we're, like the, we're like the episode of SpongeBob when him and Squidward are merged together. Squid, oh, no. Squid Bob Tentacle Pants, whatever it's called. When it's literally, uh, squ- literally Spongebob's body, but like, you got Squidward's head sticking out the side of his body. Yeah. And yeah, one arm, Squidward's arm, one leg, Squidward's leg. Like, we like that. Yeah, I don't think Hayden would date you if that was the case. No, she just said she'd put me down. <laughs> uh, at least she'll put you down and not me. I mean, it's, it's she's, she'll probably make sure it's like, when our head's like intertwined, that like, it's like one shot, one kill. That is the bullet, doesn't it? <laughs> Unless yeah. you've got a shotgun, then we're both like, screwed instantly. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, either way. Uh, yes, obviously, uh, <laughs> uh, your thoughts on this episode in the comments below. Yeah, uh, and make sure you give us a massive like. And uh, subscribe, and... and obviously check out Alex on Twitch. When I actually start streaming again. I'm having a bit of a break at the moment. Having a bit of a break, are you? I mean, I've, I've yeah. started streaming on YouTube. I should hopefully be still doing it at this point. Hopefully, hopefully. But hopefully by this point, you're back. But we'll see. Mm. We'll, we shall see. So yeah, uh, we hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you the next episode. is going to be the supermarket one, which we'll yeah, cover absolutely. next week. Uh, so yeah, uh, we hope you enjoyed. And we shall hopefully see you next time. See you next time. Peace. Willow, Willow, get it. Willow, roll me. Was it Willow, me? If you like what you've seen, don't be afraid to uh, throw us a little like and uh, subscribe. That's always very appreciated over here. And, uh, well, I'll see you on the next video.